Hey, now you're a master. Get your game on. Go count. Hey, now you're a master. Get your game on. Go mm. add. When all that counting is done, we'll be adding sums. How are you, masters? Well, yesterday we did 10 ones and one or two or three or four. We made, went all the way up to the number 14. 10 and four is 14, right? Well, today we're going to put one more on there. How many ones is that? One, two, three, four, five ones. We already counted this yesterday. Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten ones. So ten and five is what? Well, let's start. We don't have to start at one because we know this is ten. We just counted it. Let's count on from ten. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Say 10 and five is 15. All right, let's go to your book, module 17, lesson two. Right here. Wait a second. Let me make sure I'm sharing the right thing with you. There we go. All right, say I can. Compose 10 ones and some more ones to represent the number 15. So let's look at this. All right. Oh, sorry. Page 444. I'm sorry, 443. Um, listen to the story. How, what do you know about the total number of apples? Luke has apples on some plates. How can you represent the number of apples on each plate? Let's count how many are on this plate. Now, when we're counting large groups like this, it can sometimes be a little bit difficult, right? So I want us to cross off as we count. So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10 ones. All right, so the reason we cross them off is because sometimes when, especially when they're in a circle, we might accidentally count them too many times or we might skip some. So that way we make sure we count them all. Okay, and let's count how many are in this plate. One, two, three, four, five. 10 ones. And five ones, 10 plus five. Ooh, I'm getting fancy, I'm doing an equation. 10 and five, let's count on from 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 10 and five is 15. All right. All right. What number is this right here? Do you know what number that is? 14. And we have these cubes here to help us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm going to illustrate it with a 10 stick. That's my 10 stick. Okay. And then 10 and we have to get to 14. So start counting at 10. 10, 11. 12, 13, 14. <clears throat> so that's 10 ones and one, two, three, four, four ones. <clears throat> Say 10 and four is 14. All right, and then number 15. That is the number 15, one, five, 15. So again, you can use these cubes that are at the top of your page to count 10 ones and how many more? So let's count on from 10, all right? Let's count on from 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 10 and five is? 15, 10 ones and five ones. All right. 
You can pause this while you draw those. All right. So here we have, what number is this? 15. Okay, you're going to circle for this question. You're going to circle 10 objects, not individually, but as a whole. Okay, so let's circle 10. Let's count 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to circle those 10. And that is 10 ones. Circle some more objects to show the number 15. So it's 10 and how many more? How many are in there? Well, your circle might be better. I didn't do a very good circle on that. You can't really see all of the carrots. All right, so put that number there. All right, you can pause this for that. All right. Now, for this one, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ones. Right? And now you have to um, draw more to equal that number. So let's go ahead and draw more. So oranges. Looks like it. So we have 10. We have to get to 15. So count on with me. Ready? One. Oh, sorry. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How many more did we draw? One, two, three, four, five. Put that here. 10 ones and five ones. All right. You can pause this while you do that. All right. Now, you're, it's time for the on, the on Your Own. So you do need to have your homeschool teacher read that to you. But I really think you should, if you have some of these cubes, I want you to make yourself a 10 stick with this. If you have some of these cubes at home. If you don't have these cubes, maybe you have some Legos or Duplos. Make a stack of 10. And then see if you can make another that has 15, 10, and one, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and play around with it. See what other teen numbers you can make. Okay. All right. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.